welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a little updated what's on my iPhone video. You guys have been asking a ton for an updated one, and I actually just changed it around a bunch of stuff on my iPhone this morning because I was like sick of how I had it organized. It was a mess. So I finally got my iPhone organized and my life organized, and it looks so nice. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I got some new apps, got rid of some apps. It's very clean and minimalistic now, so I'm super excited. I think I just have the iPhone 8, I think is what it is, just the regular. I will link my iPhone case down below and also the pop socket down below in case you guys are wondering where I got that from. I believe it's the same one that I had in my last video, but let's go ahead and get into it. Before I get into what's on my iPhone, I want to share this with you guys real quick. If you like my shirt, it says, don't quit your daydream. I think it is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I think it is just so cute. It is the merch that I'm selling. So if you guys want to go and check out the description down below, I'll link my store merch thing. If you guys want to go check it out, I seriously love it so much. So for what is on my iPhone, my background of course says, don't quit your daydream. You guys know that's like the quote that I live by. I love that quote so much. As you can tell, I like literally put it on a shirt. And one of you guys actually sent me this in an Instagram DM the other day. And I was like, oh, that's it. Making it my iPhone background. So if you guys like the background and want it as well, you can DM me on Instagram and I'll like send you the picture also so that you guys can have it too. I think it's like such a cute background. So that's my iPhone background. And then once you unlock the screen, I just have like a pale pink background. Like I literally just like took a screenshot from Pinterest and then like zoomed it in and I just got this really nice pale pink color. It just makes everything look super nice, super clean. So down here in the bottom, I just have like the phone, of course. I have my Safari, which hello, of course. My mail has all my YouTube stuff in it. And then my messages, which I'm not gonna open. That's just what I keep at the bottom because I use those the most often. Like I always use those ones. And then on my front screen, so I have the calendar, of course. I always check that. Alarms with like, again, 500 million alarms. I don't know why I have so many. It's not even funny. I do not need all those. And then I have my camera. I have my photos. I have the weather channel app. It's like my favorite app to check the weather with because I feel like it's like the most accurate, you know? And it gives like a lot of details about the weather, which is like a silly thing. But the app that I used to have for the weather was awful. So I definitely like this one a lot better. Then I just have like a bunch of boring utilities. So wallet, voice memos, measure, maps, help, and reminders. I just put it all in a little folder that says utilities. I put every app that I have like in a folder. I just spelled out the word with like spaces in between it. So it'd be like really spaced out. You know, I just thought it looked nice when it was like in a folder to have it like, I don't know, spaced out. Then I have my notes, which just has a bunch of stuff that I want to buy pretty much. I have my calculator, hello. And then I have a folder with a bunch of my Apple stuff. So I have my iTunes, my app store, and my music. And that's just like in a folder called Apple. I have my settings, contacts, find my iPhone, which I don't use. Find my friends. I have this one that I called photos. This has all my stuff in it. Um, I have a lot of you guys ask how I edit my Instagram pictures. So I guess like in short version, I'll just explain that right here, but maybe I can do like a more in depth video on it. But I literally just use Aspen Ovard's presets. This is the preset pack I have. It's like the original one that she released. I'm obsessed with it. I literally use her presets on all my pictures, pretty much all of my thumbnails. Now I use her presets for, I love them so much. So I use that on every picture. I love Lightroom. I love her presets. Every once in a while, I'll use PicMonkey. You can just add some fun stuff with this, but I don't usually use it that often. Preview is just basically your Instagram page, but it like lets you add photos so that you can see how stuff looks. Like if I have a couple pictures that I've taken ahead of time and then I want to post, I'll see how they look, like which one I want to post first, that sort of thing, just to see how it looks like in the layout of my feed. I'll use that sometimes. Visco I used to use all the time. I don't really use this as much anymore, but I keep it on just in case I ever do want to use it. Mextures is another app that I used to use. This is an app that you can get like grain effect on your pictures. You can get different kind of lighting features and it has like a lot of grains or like that old time uh, markings that you can get on your pictures. That's what you can use this app for. I really like it. And then the last thing I have in this folder is hyperlapse, which is for like time lapse. If you want to post on your Instagram story, you can like slow them down or speed them up. It's like a bunch of different ways that you can make a time lapse for your Instagram. And the two last ones I have in this photos folder is Storylux. This is like an Instagram story template thing. So you can like post pictures and have a nice little template to put them on for your story. It's just a nice fun way to switch up your stories and do something a little bit different by using like a filter or having like a little template to put stuff in. And then Canva, I think is how you say it, is the other one that I have for photos. This also is for Instagram stories. It just lets you do a bunch of different things with, with your Instagram stories. So they have like Instagram post stuff. They have a bunch of different things that you can use for your Instagram stories. 
and different templates and all that stuff. There's just so much good stuff in here. So I haven't played around with this too much, but I played around with it a little bit and I really do like it and I'm excited to start using it a little bit more on my stories. So that's all I have for photos. Then I have FaceTime, which I literally only, yep, only FaceTime Eddie. And then I slide over to my next screen. I have a money app. So that has like all my banking stuff, Venmo, like all that good stuff is in that folder, which I won't go too much into. And same with education. It just has like the school that I'm going to use education app and my email for that school, if that makes sense. And then coffee, hello, of course. I have my Starbucks, have my Dunkin', that's a necessity. And then this is like a social, I just put my Pinterest and Social Blade in there. Social Blade, I'll look at every once in a while because I think it gives you some analytics that YouTube Studio doesn't give you. So I'll look at that every once in a while. And then I have Pinterest. I love just getting on and scrolling on Pinterest every once in a while. So that's really fun to just like kind of look through every once in a while. There's just like so many fun things to look at. Not to mention, it's like such a good way to get inspiration. Then I have Spotify, which I'm obsessed with. I use this literally every time I get in my car. I listen to this hot country playlist. It's my favorite to listen to. They have like all the best country songs. And then I have the Apple podcasts. I have a bunch of different podcast that I'll listen to every once in a while. The ones that I, of course, have really been loving. Based by Karen and Qual, A Girl and Her Mother-in-Law by Alyssa Rose, and The Target Girl, which you can go follow her on Instagram. She's a super nice, super sweet. I love her. Go check those out. Then I have the Carnival Hub app on my phone because Eddie and I are getting ready to go on a cruise, which by the time you guys are seeing this video, we'll either have already gone on the cruise or we'll be on the cruise. I don't really know, but we're going on a cruise, so I just went ahead and downloaded the app for the cruise so that I had it and could figure out how in the world it worked and what all what all I can do, but that will not be there forever. And then on the last page, I have a bunch of apps that I don't really use all that often. So I have one with health. It has your activity for your Apple Watch, which I love my Apple Watch. If you guys do not have an Apple Watch, you need one. I'm obsessed with mine. And then I have just like the app for the Apple Watch. And then I have Flow, which is to track your periods. So there's that. If you're a girl, highly recommend. And the last thing I have for health is my Fitness Pal, which I was using for a little while. I kind of fell off the bandwagon a little bit because I do like it a lot, but it's just so time consuming to track everything that you just kind of eventually like get burnt out of it. But I do love having it and I want to get back in the swing of using it. So I'm leaving it there for now because I want to get back into it but I do, I do love using it, it's really cool. Then I have a folder with games. I don't play them that often. I don't even know why I keep them on my phone, but just in case I'm in a pinch and need something to do. Candy Crush, of course, how could you go wrong with Candy Crush? That's like a classic. I used to play this all the time in high school. Uh, I have this one, I don't even know what it's called, like paper.io, I'm sure you guys can see on the screen, but you pretty much just collect, I don't know, you just do this pretty much and just, see how much you can get. It's kind of like that snake game that you used to play when you were little, or at least I used to play when I was little, but there's that game. And then there's this other one called Fireballs 3D, which is where you like hit the ball to try and get like layers knocked down of a tower. I don't know. I just think they're entertaining every once in a while. Then I have this one called Homes. If you guys keep up with my videos, you know I still live at home. So I have these on my phone just to look at every once in a while to see like what apartments are for sale or rent and what houses are for sale, what houses are for rent, just to like kind of see what everything looks like and you know, dream a little about what I can have one day. So I have Zillow, I have apartments, I have Realtor, I have Trulia, like I have all kinds of different apps for houses and rent or er, houses and apartments and I have one called extra so this has my little bitmoji which I love to use I think it's so fun there's like so many silly things that you can pick through yeah I love my bitmoji I think it's so fun and then I have what's up I don't use it that often but I do keep it on here because every once in a while it is kind of fun to go through and just see like I do think it has a lot of helpful things that if you're going through a really hard time or you're really stressed or anxious or whatever there's a lot of good things on here that I think can help so I kind of keep it on here just in case one day I'm feeling really stressed or something and need something to calm me down. I have Dote, which I don't really use that often, but it's like a really good way to shop online. It's kind of like a mall online, I feel like. And so I just keep this on here in case I want to go shopping at a bunch of different places and this like has it all in one place. Then I have Netflix, of course. How could you not have Netflix on your phone? And the last thing I have is the like to know folder. So it has the like to know app, reward style, and then influencer. I don't ever really use influencer. I downloaded it to like potentially try it and then never got around to looking into it too much. Much. and then like to know and reward style are like ways to link products and that sort of thing so I keep those in that folder and that's pretty much it for what I keep on my iPhone it's definitely a lot more organized now I seriously feel so much better now that there's not so much clutter it's like very clean to look at and on this page right here I put like all the categories at the top and then the apps that I use a lot so like Instagram YouTube YouTube studio 
Snapchat, that sort of thing on it. I Did I skip over all that? I'm pretty sure I skipped over a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna go back real quick. I keep my money, education, coffee, social, all that stuff at the top because they're all in folders and then I have the apps that I use a lot and very frequently on the bottom. So Instagram, YouTube, YouTube Studio, and Snapchat, and of course Spotify and Podcasts. I use that a lot so I keep those out of the folders just because I use them a lot. So for my Instagram, I'll show you guys that real quick if you guys want a sneak peek at my feed. This is kind of what it looks like. I think it's super fun. I've been so into posting pictures. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. There's my little insta then of course youtube my favorite thing ever let's see what my channel looks like there's my channel pretty much i'm sure you guys know if you're watching my videos right now and then i just have youtube studio which is like the way that i like to respond to comments i just think it's the easiest and fastest way to respond to comments and then Snapchat, which is just like my personal Snapchat that I use with friends and stuff. I think it works the best to have those out of folders. So much easier to get to them so much faster, but then everything still looks nice and neat and organized. I think that was like way out of order, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's on my iPhone and kind of how I organized it since I switched things up. I feel like I just did a little iPhone declutter and it was super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe by clicking down below and give this video a thumbs up for me. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll link that right here. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Nice.